Dear friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Isaac Rai here. Now let me share with you about the content from the book episode Solomon's Temple. That is, why must we work together? The task of building the temple for God was too much for one man or even an entire nation. To complete this huge project, cooperation was needed from thousands of people. Even though God would not allow King David to actually build the temple, he cooperated by gathering materials and supplies for his son Solomon. First Chronicles chapter 22 verse 5 God filled King Solomon with wisdom to direct and supervise the work through thousands of people. Solomon made an agreement with King Hiram, a loyal friend of King David of the neighboring country of Tyre. This king did not serve God. However, both kings workers successfully labored side by side. King Solomon had well over 150,000 workers who joined with King Hiram's workers over many years to construct the temple. What an amazing accomplishment and example of cooperation. What which we read in 1 Kings chapter 5 verse 1 through 18. The apostle Paul wrote in one of his letters, then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another and working together with one mind and purpose. Philippians chapter 2 verse 2 Yes, whether a task or project is large or small, working in cooperation and agreement with others is as important today as it was in Solomon's day. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 8, Paul talks about believers working in harmony together to accomplish God's work. The one who plants and the one who waters work together with the same purpose and both will be rewarded for their own hard work. For we are both God's workers. Remember, dear friend, we are God's workers and it is his will that we cooperate with others to complete his purpose on this earth. Dear friend, I be encouraged by listening to the content I just shared with you now. And you can read more about from the Bible in First Corinthians chapter 3. That is in chapter 3 verse 8. Dear friend, now let me share with you about God's promise or God's promises. Are God's promises still valid? Dear friend, King David was forbidden by God to build the temple. However, God made a promise to him that Solomon would sit on his throne and build the temple. Solomon praised God in front of all the people of his kingdom at the temple dedication for keeping his promise that he had made to King David. Solomon also reminded tablets that were contained in the ark. The tablets contained the covenant or promises that the Lord made with their ancestors that God brought out of Egypt. First Kings chapter 8 verse 20 through 21. The Bible is filled with God's promises to his people. That includes us. We can trust God because he is faithful to do everything he has spoken. Psalm 145 verse 13 says, For your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. You rule throughout all generations. The Lord always keeps his promises. He is gracious in all he does. Dear friend, I hope you are encouraged by the content I just shared with you about God's promises and working together. About God's promises, you can read in 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 20 to 21 and Psalm 145 verse 13. Be encouraged my friend that Lord Jesus Christ's promises are always with you and work together in your life. Thank you for being with us throughout this video till now and please like, share, comment and subscribe our channel for more videos similar to this. I'll be bringing more content similar to this in coming days too.